Hey guys, welcome back to another video, it's your man Jay. So disclaimer, I'm actually recording uh, with my Canon SL3 with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens and I don't have my microphone. So now what you're gonna get is a sample from both of these cameras uh, with just the mics that are in the device. Now, that totally wasn't planned. I just didn't feel like going back upstairs and <laughs> that's the truth. So this was my camera of choice, uh, the Canon SL3 with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It's obviously has it's a wide angle lens and I could zoom out or zoom in, but I've just got it at the focal length that I needed it for this video. So a lot of people have been asking Jay, um, you know, what are you recording with? Uh, what's what's going on? Your videos look a lot better. Well, that is because I switched to the Sony a6100 and I also bought the Sigma 16 millimeter lens uh, at f1.4. So if you notice now my background is probably really clear and I'm really I'm in focus because Canon has actually has some great uh, auto focusing uh, and tracking your face and everything and eye detection. I honestly haven't dug into any of that with this camera because I set it up, I set some, some things up in the camera to give me the best video. Uh, and, and that's ultimately what with Canon, you just kind of turn it on and you get good quality. So I'm sitting in a spot where I've been doing a lot of my vlogs at and I wanted to show you the Canon quality versus the Sony quality. Now, I do have the Canon SL3 and the 10 to 18 millimeter lens up for sale on my Instagram at Mr. JL Williams, or you can leave me a comment down below if you're interested in buying it. Uh, but I suggest that you head over to my Instagram so you can see the pricing and, and what's available. I did have a 24 millimeter lens available for sale, but it was purchased rather quickly. Uh, and so now I just have the Canon SL3 and the 10 to 18 millimeter lens for sale. Uh, and it'll be yours soon if you decide to purchase it. Now, for those who were excited um, and also shocked that I decided to switch over to Sony, there's a lot of reasons why I switched to this particular setup right here. And I wanted to show you, I wanted to start off with my older setup. The can Well, this isn't really, this camera's only been out, what, six months or something like that? But this was my setup for YouTube. This is what I was using and this is a good setup. You know, the 24 millimeter lens, it did give me the blurred background and, and that type of look, but the focal length on here, the crop is really bad and that is just what did it for me. I kind of got tired of pushing my camera far back and I just got tired of that and I said I wanted to get something to where I can still have a great look and a better look for my YouTube channel for these types of, of, of facing vlogs like this. So. Uh, I went with the Sigma uh, 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 f1.4 16 millimeter lens. Uh, it's an older lens, but it's very popular still. And I think a lot of people love this lens for vlogs. And you'll see here in just a minute why. Uh, if, you, if you're new to my channel, um, I was using this setup, like I said, and I just recently switched to Sony. Uh, you probably saw me say Team Canon for nearly everything for several years. But this setup right here changed my mind. Now I watch people like Terry Warfield and um, uh, technically, they both use a Sony setup. Terry Warfield's uh, into photography, and, and he's um, a more advanced user, I would say, than anybody I know that's dealing with Sony. Uh, so, you know, hit his channel if you want to see some really... He's a videographer, so uh, I watched him on the low low. I've been watching him, and I'm looking at all the lenses and stuff that he reviews, and pretty much all his videos are super crisp with a blurred background. And his lenses and stuff are way out of my budget for doing YouTube. So I went with a, this is kind of expensive though. This lens is about 400 minimum and some places sell it for 450. Uh, and the camera itself, uh, the body is like 699 or something like that. 750, I believe. I don't know. You can check the current price and just, just Google it. Uh, but this setup right here is good enough for YouTube. It's the, uh, an affordable option. The 10 to 18 middle lens, lens cost me 280, I believe, and the body uh, I bought cost 550. So this lens is what I'm switching from. Now I'm going to switch over to the Sony uh, A6100 with the Sigma lens, and you will in fact see a totally different type of quality right here. Let's switch that over. All right, so now this is the quality. This is what I chose to switch to. Here's my Canon SL3 with the 10 to 18 middle, middle lens. This is what I was looking for, and it was solely because of the 24 millimeter lens that I had on my Canon. Um, I have the camera actually in the same spot, and I'm recording in 4K, because uh, a 4K on this phone, on this camera, I've reviewed so many phones, the 4K on this camera 
uh, is 24 frames per second and with the Sony I can do 30 or 24 and there's no crop on the 4k recording now with the Canon SL3 with the 4k there is a crop but you really can't tell if you have this lens on there so that is why I went with this setup for this camera I can totally vlog with this in the pop-out screen like so I can totally get my vlog on like this and have no problems whatsoever but it got to a point where I said you know I do a lot of talking head videos and remember, this is the microphone set, uh, uh, set at, uh, I think 25, I just set it to for the game, uh, because it's coming, these are the microphones from the camera, by the way. So um, you can compare how the Canon sounds next to uh, the Sony. Uh, but this lens, the Sigma lens, is what does it for people with cameras. Now, I very well, uh, when I did my first impressions, when I, when I did my initial switch and told you that I was using the Sony now, um, I didn't go too far into detail, but um, I did tell you that I could have purchased a Sigma lens for this camera. You know, it's normally about 900 for the Canon version, um, but it was on sale for 640, I believe, the 18 to 35, I believe it is. And, and I just felt like I'm ready for something new, I think. Um, a lot of people think that the Sony system the um you know the menu is difficult it's not difficult i heard a lot of people say jay it's difficult but i already used a sony camera several times so i knew what the menu was like which is why i didn't go with the a6600 because i'm just doing talking head vlogs and you know video reviews all the talking heads are do done with this camera now instead of this camera so as I look up at the viewfinder, wow, the quality is night and day from this particular setup. Now remember this 10 to 18 millimeter lens is not a kit lens. That lens costs 280 bucks. And the Sigma lens that you're looking at on the body of the Sony a6100 costs 400, like I said. You can catch it on sale sometimes. The original price is 450, I believe, but I paid about 400 for it. So these lenses are not newer model lenses either. They're the lenses that have been out for, for years, I think. So um, this is the combination that I choose to vlog with now. So if you're wondering, a lot of people have, and I was gonna do a follow-up video on the Sony a6100 uh, with this Sigma lens anyway, but I started to get so many requests. I said, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and give them an update on this camera and tell them how I like it. And you know, every time I look into the viewfinder, every time I'm editing a video, every time I'm looking at something, when I play the 4K footage on my 4K TVs from videos filmed with the Sony a6100 coupled with the Sigma lens, it looks fantastic. And it looks good on here with this lens setup, but I need the 24 millimeter lens to get this fantastic look that the Sony gives, but there's too many disadvantages for me with that setup. So while this does look crisp and, and I can put it in 24 frames per second for the 4K, it just can't match the Sigma lens on this Sony a6100. So I recommend to you, to, to people out there that genuinely are trying to get into YouTube and you really want to get your channel hot fast, just buy the Canon SL3 with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And if you're, if you're content like I was for, I, I bought the 24 millimeter lens, I don't know how long ago, uh, lenses don't lose value at, that much at all. You can sell a lens and still make 80% of the profit if you keep it in good condition. Uh, even used lenses, I see them selling for 80% of the profit. So that's kind of a, your lens, the camera bodies, all this equipment holds great value. So if you're a person that's willing to deal with the focal length of the 24 millimeter lens and you're gonna shoot in 1080p and not 4K, buy my setup. Get the 24 millimeter lens if you want to do footage like this with the blurred background. You're just going to have to push the camera back a little bit. But if you're just going to vlog and you want to walk around with the camera, get this setup right here. If you don't care about a blurry background or and having it look like you're up front or in 3D almost, get this setup. Because this is more affordable than the Sony setup. The, the Sony camera alone, I actually, I bought the full kit, I bought the kit lens kit. I didn't just buy the body with the Sony. So, um, and I did get a, a good deal on it at the time, but the cameras, everybody can't get a good deal. The camera itself, I think if you look now, it's like seven, 800 bucks, they're not on sale. 
So I got the kit lens with the two, but I have no intentions on using the kit lens, which is why I went on ahead and just bought the Sigma lens because I knew the setup that I was going with, and this is it for now. I thought that this would do it for me, but after using this lens for, I think, a year and a half or so, I have both of the lenses for at least a year and a half, but the camera bodies, the, this camera body is only six months old because, you know, the SL3 came out about six months ago at the recording of this video, I think. So the camera lenses, these lenses look brand new, you know, because they're just sitting in my office or sitting on the camera. And so, you know, I don't take these cameras outside, so they look brand new. But my advice to a YouTuber is, the, well, I, I could tell you this. I'm telling you to buy this, but if you, in this setup right here, you just saw the quality compared to the Sony. Now you're probably thinking, some people are gonna say that this looked better. I personally like this look better. Uh, but if you don't have a budget, man, and, and you're just gonna be doing talking heads like this, I would say get the setup that I have. And if you don't wanna spend the money on the A6100, get the 5100 or the 6000. Those cameras are super affordable and this lens will bolt right up to them. Now, the quality should pretty much be the same overall. I'm not a Sony expert, I'm not a camera expert, so do your own research. But I know plenty of people, I, I don't know them personally, I've seen, you have to do like I do. I did. I went to the Academy of YouTube, YouTube Academy. And I got on there for a probably, probably almost six months and researched Sony cameras with the 60, with the 16 millimeter lens. And there was one guy on there, he uses it with the 5100, I believe. But the 5100 doesn't have a flip up screen, so he's using an external screen, uh, but that's just something he's willing to deal with. And once you start shooting videos like this, you don't even need, you just need to position the camera and check it and then you're good. But if you really wanna save money, your glass, meaning this right here, the lens, not so much the camera body. Yes, you need a good sensor in there. Yes, you need uh, uh, something that's gonna produce, you need a good processor, the Digix 8 or the Digix 7 is what I would recommend uh, inside of there. Do your research like I did, because I'm, I'm not a photographer, like I said, but I totally recommend that if you don't have any kind of budget, go with the Sony. I mean, go with a Sony body and buy the Sigma lens. You will not be disappointed. And you're talking to somebody who was using Canon for a long time. I'm not selling this because I don't like it. I'm selling it because I like the Sony a little bit better. That's life. You, you, you get to a point when you're doing YouTube, at least for me it did, I got to a point where I like to do a lot of vlogs and I like to live stream and I like to do those types of deals. I love reviewing phones and, and tablets and all these different things, uh, but if I'm gonna use something and I'm gonna be in front of the camera. I'm, I'm not afraid to be in front of the camera and I wanna give you the best quality uh, as, as, as I can. I was willing to invest and I think I invested in Sony, uh, Canon, so now I'm giving Sony a chance. And I'm totally happy with the, the A6100 with this Sigma lens. I mean, silently, I, I did my research online and looked at a whole bunch of different creators. Didn't comment much on their videos, just let them go on and I just took bits and pieces of people's videos and I made my own choice. I could have gone with the 6600 and got a fantastic deal, but I don't need all the profiles and everything like that. I don't need just that little bit more. And for me, it wasn't worth it. Um, I'm getting fantastic quality from a, a camera that's a lot less the body costs a lot less than the A6600. You put the A6600 next to the A6100 and you're gonna find very few differences. They have the same camera sensors. There's a whole bunch about these that are, are alike. So even with that, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna go Team Canon, this is what I recommend. The, eight, the, the, the 10 to 18 millimeter lens with the Canon SL3. That is what I recommend. And if you can find both of these pre-owned or you know refurbished, you're gonna get an even better deal. But I tell you, if you want to get this look and you want to have um, a jump, I guess, if depending on what you're looking for, I consider my setup now, the A6100 with the Sigma uh, uh, 16 millimeter lens, F1.4, I consider this a jump on the competition if I'm coming into doing vlogs. If I would have had this set up from day one, I wouldn't have bought anything else. I, I wouldn't be Team Canon. I wouldn't have been Team Canon for so long and 
I would have known how great this the, the lens was. If anything, if I would have had like the older model Sony's, I probably would have just obviously kept this lens and upgraded my body possibly. But for talking heads like this, I think this is your best setup. This is probably a situation where it's going to be personal preference, obviously. But for me, this situation was totally from firsthand experience. The Sony A6100, and I can't say it enough, it sounds redundant, but the 6100 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens is definitely better in my humble opinion than the Canon SL3 with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So wait up, hold a minute. I know you're gonna say, Jay, well you just told me to buy that if I'm trying to get started. Yes, I did. If you're on a smaller budget, this is you right now for YouTube. Do like I did, save your money, get yourself established, and then spend a lot more money because you don't wanna spend a lot of money just to do videos like this on YouTube, you could very well pick up your cell phone and use your cell phone and get really good quality. Will it be this type of quality? Definitely not. But you'll have some great quality coming from your cell phone and people will never know if you don't tell them. I started off using a cell phone with YouTube. I took you guys advice and upgraded things over the course of the years that I've been doing YouTube. Been doing YouTube since 2006, it's 2020. And it didn't happen overnight for me. So I, I gradually, I don't know if you heard what I said earlier, I've been researching buying a Sony camera for about six months, folks. That's how patient I am when it comes to making a change because I didn't want to leave Canon altogether. I just didn't want to do it because I, I bought a bunch of batteries for this. I, was, I got the lenses. But then I realized, you know, I watched a lot of people and they said, you can sell those lenses and get at least on the low end, 60% of your money back as long as the lens looks brand new and works. And they were right. So for all those people out there, uh, like T. Frank, Terry Warfield, uh, and uh, technically T, these guys who, you know, bits and pieces here, helped me out. Uh, uh, T. Frank definitely showed me the way when it came to Canon. And um, Terry Warfield, he definitely, he doesn't know, well, if he sees this video, he'll know it now, but I definitely was following him silently you know I, he knows i'm watching but uh, probably but i was silently taking advice here and there and, and pulling back and deciding whether or not i wanted to do this but once i came out and told everybody i had this setup people said oh that's my setup that's a fantastic setup so vlogs like this i really enjoy doing them i enjoy turning on the camera and just talking to me it's better than doing a product review sometimes because that's why i have so much fun on live streams when i can so I encourage you guys, man, go after it if you want to. Do what you want to do. Don't, don't do what I did. You can take my recommendations because I'm telling you, I'm hold, I've used this camera for quite some time and I had the SL2 as well. So I know all about Canon, what they can do. And I'm an infant, I'm a novice when it comes to Sony and I'm not afraid to admit that. But when I did go in with Sony, I decided to go all in for what I can see. And that was buying the Sigma lens coupled with this body. So it's your man Jay, for those that have been wondering, why does your quality of your videos change? <laughs> well, that's why I switched to this setup from this setup, and I'm very happy with it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to hit my Instagram, Mr. J. Williams, because I am selling this right here. I do have the full box to the camera body, and the only thing I took out of here was the body. The straps and batteries and all that stuff are still brand new in the box. So hit me on Instagram or you know leave your Instagram in my comments, and I'll link you to that post. I'll try to I'll try to remember to link that Instagram post in the description. But if I don't, Mr. Jerry Williams on Instagram, you can DM me there if you're interested so you can see the price and everything or leave your Instagram below. And if I can get to the comment, I'll get to it. But I highly suggest that you hit me up at Mr. Jerry Williams uh, on Instagram. So there you have it. Um, team Canon for a long time, but now it's about Team Sony. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.